Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. I'm so excited today. I've got actress Tetiana Gaidar with me. So welcome, Tetiana. Hello, hello. <laughs> I should say welcome back. We were talking off camera. You came on. We were having the best interview, and the internet dropped like half a dozen times until we finally like, okay, we got to stop. It was yeah. It was too much to overcome. It was too much of our energy. Crashed the internet. <laughs> but you were nice enough to uh, to come back. So we're we're going to try it again, and we both agreed. If there's any trouble, we're blaming you. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> okay blame it on me yeah blame it. yeah 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 <laughs> i don't know judging by some of the characters you play you're kind of a badass so maybe i don't want to be blaming anything on you that could that could go badly that's a good point. yeah that's a good yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 at this point i'm not even confident that i would be quick enough to get out of the way it's been so long since I've had to like go above a jog. I'm not even sure that I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give me a head start. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tatiana, we got we got so much to to talk about, but let's start here as we did last time. Tell me a little bit about what got you into the entertainment business and why you wanted to become an actor. What got me into entertainment business was uh, X Files show with David Duchovny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was my it was my favorite show of my father, and one night he just put it on TV, and I was watching, and I was just so obsessed with the whole <laughs> mystery FBI, yeah. you know, hunting aliens. Malter obviously obviously was so handsome and sexy and how can you not love him yeah <laughs> and Scully was incredible her character she was just a badass woman and growing up in Ukraine uh like Ukrainian tv is a little different it's more of a drama life is bad everything's bad it's like drama after drama after drama there was not enough of the female strong characters to look up for yeah and watch that on TV and be inspired to be like them, you know, to be a, a female, but strong and, 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 and have that amazing relationship they have with Mulder, which is, you yeah. know, they have each other back, they trust each other. And they, love well, and they were exact opposites too. Yeah. 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 Neat. Yes, 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 yes. And um, I saw it and my first dream as a child was actually the FBI CIA agent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But kind of my dad, I remember I was young and I was a child and my dad kind of crashed my dream. He's like, <laughs> there is no way you're ever going to be um, FBI agent because you're from Ukraine, meaning, you know, Russia, yeah. Ukraine, KGB, they're not, they're not going, they're going to use you or whatever, but you're not going to be FBI, FBI agent because you're a Ukrainian citizen. And, um, and I was <laughs> that's really, probably hard as a as a kid though because you don't understand that yeah. stuff no no i didn't i was like how come like why not and i still was like stubborn i'm like no i will be no i i'll, I'll be fbi agent um but then but then i saw john wick it was later yeah yeah and well, before that, I saw Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There was another like mentor for me. I was like, I loved her so much. It's just the whole action. And then I loved Dark Angel, Cameron. Oh, um, I, I'm a big fan of oh, Dark really? Angel. Oh, yeah. You too. Yeah. Oh, um, Jessica Alba was. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Yes, yes, yes. I. She was actually, actually, she was one of the first people I met when I moved here. And I was like, we were really? doing like happy yoga together. And I'm like, she's sitting next to me. He's like, holy crap, this is dark angel. <laughs> I got a little bit of a star stroke. You know? Good show. <laughs> yeah. Um, so dark angel, I loved it so much, so much. And then. Um, so you would have made, you could have totally been uh, a slayer or somebody on Buffy. And you definitely would have fit on Dark Angel too. Well, I, I hope they are going to do a remake. I hope they so. Need one to. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, you could totally do that. 
I know that's what I really want to do, like kind of book a role like that. But then when I saw John Wick in Ukraine, that's where I was like, oh my God, like, you know what? I can, how about I'm just going to try to be an actress and instead of be a FBI agent, which probably not going to happen, I'm just going to do it all in a big screen and play the characters and live the lives of the people that I once want to be, you know, and by being an actor and playing those roles, I'm going to get a chance to learn more about that life and talk to that people, you know? Yeah. 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 When you were growing up, did you identify more with Mulder, who was like the true believer or Scully, who was the skeptic? You know what? I was Mulder. I was yeah, completely I figured. Mulder. I was like, I want to believe was my, I want to believe was my, how to say it, um, like your catchphrase yeah like a belief phrase that yeah, got, yeah. got me through so so much like challenges in my life and and the harsh time i just i want to believe this is gonna happen like i want to believe i believe i knew that this is gonna happen yeah yeah <laughs> i knew crazy. you were a modern i knew <laughs> yeah, as I'm great as scully was she used to drive me crazy because me it'd be too. like right <laughs> and i'm like what do you mean you don't believe it right there <laughs> me too me too <laughs> oh. <laughs> we uh we uh talked with um nicole bilderback who was on dark angel oh. and and she was she was on um she was one of the enhanced people she was on several episodes but she said the, the same thing she's like you know they, they need to bring that one back yes Get back on there they have to yeah, it was a, it was kind of ahead of its time. The first season was amazing. The second season, I think it had trouble kind of finding its footing that second season. And then Fox never gave anything a chance back then. Yeah, unfortunately, it was also like a bummer. They just kind of cut it so early. I know. They, it was a bummer. We needed uh, we needed more of that. But all of those need to be making a comeback. I mean, X-Files it shows up every few years so it could still come back you could still be on that buffy oh, and dark angel are, are they're like it's time it's been so long now they could totally reboot those that would be so cool we got to work on that we we got to come up with a pitch and get that going <laughs> so can I, you imagine know- like alder's face when david degoni when I'm gonna tell him, hey, do it like I learned English by watching your show. And you like you inspired yeah. me actually. He was like, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but how could he not put you on the show? He'd have to. He have to. No, no, he doesn't have any other choice now. No, he has to. Absolutely <laughs> has to. We're uh, we're friends with the guy that played the cigarette uh, smoking man. So maybe he could put in a word for you. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty yeah. good. That'd be Do you pretty think good. they're going to um, get the show back? He said that um, Chris Carter, who who created it, is still trying to get new seasons or another movie on the air. So it's possible. That's cool. That's cool. Well, they cross our fingers. Yeah. Dark <laughs> Angel too. Dark Angel, too. Oh, my gosh. I'd love to have Dark Angel back. That was, that was so good, especially if they could do – I mean, they could reboot it, but they could have like a uh, – Jessica could do at least a cameo. She could make an appearance. Yeah, she was just like the uh, – yeah, like a you cameo. Know, yeah, she'd need at least a cameo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty good. So I know you were a dancer as well growing up, so talk yeah. a little bit about that. What got you into uh, – to dancing and did did the acting lead to dancing or did the dancing lead to acting so it's <laughs> no actually <laughs> yeah it's, it's funny um my mom she wanted me to be a ballerina that was her dream that's yeah. a career for me from my mom's perspective short <laughs> hair like this like scully has and ballerina that's that's it that's how you know she saw me but um I told her no when I was a child in school I I told her I I don't want to go in ballet academy I'm not going to be a dancer because dancers don't make any money and I want to make him good money yeah yeah right Uh, yeah but my my mom is like yeah true but it's beautiful and and anyway it's beautiful (laughs) 
<laughs> and I told my mom that, you know, I want to be a FBI agent and I want to learn how to fight. And my mom got really angry and we were walking by, uh, by, by, by a martial arts school where they taught Kung Fu. We were walking oh, by. Yeah. Oh, you want to do martial arts? Okay, well, you're going to do martial arts now. She dragged me into the school and she signed me in. But, you know, when I stepped in there and I saw all these beautiful swords and um, the fighting and, and then boxing, I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. You know, it's like they're yeah. actually fighting like in the movies. <laughs> so I had, a, I, I, I was happy. My mom was pissed. Um, but then what happened when I was entering, so I was doing Kung Fu, my, my school, like when I was yeah. since 14 till 18, I was doing it professionally, doing competitions. And I had a friend of mine, Daniel, who was doing it with me and he wanted to date me, marry me. My mom wanted me to marry him. So the whole story is already, okay, Tatiana's life is already preset. This is, gonna, <laughs> this is how it's going to happen. Um, but you know, life is unpredictable, unfortunately. Right. And what happened is, when we entered the our, uh, our university up to the school in August, um, I did something stupid. Like a lot of, I think a lot of people do that. That's why I want to share it. I I entered the university and instead of say thank you mom for help, thank you dad for help, thank you Daniel right. for you know, congratulations. Let's celebrate this moment because it's right now. Yeah. I I left home and I said my mom I just need a break because I think inside of me I was. I wasn't happy with the university I entered because right. I wanted to be an agent and CIA and now I entered ecology that has nothing to do with art or acting or FBI, you know, right. but it was the best university in Kiev. It was prestige and I entered myself, so I should be proud of myself, but I was unhappy. So I, 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 told, I called my mom and I said, mom, I'm, I'm going to go to my village where my grand." grandmother and grandfather are I just need a break from everybody I just I'm just gonna leave for one week and my mom was like well but Daniel is here everybody's waiting let's celebrate you just guys enter it like where are you going I said I'm gonna be back in one week and what happened is <sighs> crazy um next morning my mom called called me and she said that Daniel died he drowned oh, I know it's just, it's, it's really crazy how life can be. And that was the moment that kind of shifted my whole life upside down. Yeah, and I kind of learned my lesson young, you know, never lose the moment, never leave home without saying I love you. Or even if you're mad at somebody, just forgive them because you don't know, you don't know how long we are here and it's just not worth it, you know, but when I came back home and went to my university, that's where I started dancing. And dance become more of a therapy to me than like yeah. more of telling the story of what my family is going through now and me, because my mom was having, as you understand, a horrible time. Of course. It's my entire family, my dad, like my sister, my brother, it just, everybody was, it, it was really hard. It was the hardest year of my life when everything was going upside down. It was super dark and... And I started dancing and I just, I just keep going to classes from after, after, after I finished my university class, I just go to dancing and dance all night long. Like I took all the classes and I've been doing it every single day for like three months or so. And what happened is that I think I had some kind of natural ability to dance that, that yeah, that the, the guy who owned the studio, he saw it in me. Plus I was, you know, dance addict. <laughs> I was just dancing 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 non-stop and he um took me on so you think you can dance season one in ukraine to help Korea. Yeah, yeah. that's where the whole so you think you can dance entering ukraine you know like and now it's like a big show yeah and now on the first season we're like making some choreo and i'm meeting all these people and i'm inspired on the second season i'm going myself to this show so that's how dance came to me in my life it's just found me and it was I mean, weird. kind of amazing and it was so weird you know like sometimes in life you just have to say yes to some things uh, Jim, yeah. Jim Jim Carrey right he said on YouTube one of his interview he said one of his life rule is just when he was a young actor and he was trying to make it he was just saying yes to everything and see yeah. what's gonna work so what happened to me in the university my friend came to me and she's like hey Tatiana there is 
there is a new hip hop school. Like, do you want to come to class with me? And hip hop, just so you know, at that time in Ukraine, there was no hip hop. People didn't right. know what it's just started coming from America to Ukraine and Europe and Russia. It just started. So people are like, what is this hip hop thing? You know, <laughs> and she's like, do you want to come with me? And I just said, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. That's really kind of an amazing story. And I will point out, your mother was technically right about dancing. You were really yes. good or are really good at it. Yes. No, moms know. Mm. My right? mom right now, I posted on Instagram like a couple of ballet videos now because I'm doing the like, prepping for some project. And my mom is like the happiest person on the planet. She's like, oh, my God, you beautiful <laughs> ballerina. I always knew it. I knew it. My mom is happy. My mom is more happy to see ballet videos than see me on a Bosch. I felt like I was like, okay, mom, I'll dance more. <laughs> well, so so how did that lead to you coming to the States from Ukraine? So that so I was dancing. I had a really good career in Ukraine, Russia, and Europe touring we were working with the top artists so i'd like yeah. nothing to complain i was making really good money you know leaning on my own i had my own <laughs> space had my studio dance studio i was nothing to complain everybody i was on tv everybody knew me um but then what happened is i think i started hearing a lot from like judges from america in ukraine in ukraine that my level is higher than where i am and i need to go to america right and then start hearing oh you look like penelope cruz you should be in the movies um <laughs> and, and then oh your english is so good like you you, you should just you know because i was studying english from x files and dark angels and everything of course. <laughs> and, and, and at that time in ukraine nobody really speak english and stuff and I don't know, I just started hearing a lot of like, America, America, you should go to America, you should check it out, your level is too high for Ukraine, go to America. And then I saw John Wick. And that's kind of where I actually shifted inside of myself. I was like, oh no, shit, this is so cool. He's <laughs> doing the full gun fu, like it's just beautiful dance with martial, martial arts and guns. And it has a story it has a, that meaning that is close to my heart for some reason, it's just don't fuck with my family and friends. Like right. I don't have family and friends, but just don't, don't come or puppies that so just don't come. It just has this simple, simple truth of, you know, when you deeply love somebody, like, you know, your dogs, yeah. your family. And I don't know, it just makes me like this and it make me like jiggly in a, in a theater. And I was like, okay, well, I had this idea. I'm just, I'm just going to go to America. I'm going to be an action actress. That's how it happened. Um, yeah, I was just like, um, and then what was really weird, and I said to that Keanu one day when we were in the range together, he was he was shocked about the story, but I had this, I don't know, maybe I was just watching movies too much, but I had this, you know, voice that I'm like, I'm like Dark Angel, like John Wick, like FBI agent. I can go through whatever. I can come to another country without anyone. I can just make it all on my own. You know, like life is like a movie. <laughs> and <it was> crazy. <laughs> I'm looking now back, like, how the fuck did I do it all? <laughs> I know. It's such an amazing story. You know, yeah, you, I, you should, you haven't done it yet, but you should think about writing a book. I will one day. I would yeah, love you to. should. Would love yeah, you to. should. Have you got to, I know you've done, You've been around Keanu some. You've got to do some uh, of the training because you guys use the the kind of the same place to to train. But have you got to act with him yet? With Keanu? Yeah. No, not yet. Unfortunately, I wish. I wish. Hopefully, I just started. But you know, he was very happy about Bosch. He was like super because he That's was awesome. super excited to know that that you know I landed my first role and it's like all like wick wicking like guns and doing crazy manipulations that not a lot of i actually i don't know any other besides halle berry like female actress who can pull up stuff that i can do with with um physical ability you're badass like, on there thank you but i told the keanu that you know he was the one who inspired me to all of it and he was like he got 
he was so cute. He was just got a little shy and not shy, but he just, he was kind of surprised, I guess, very much because he was just like, what, what? <laughs> then I told him like, I just landed my first boss role, you know, which is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a badass assassin. <laughs> I know you told him you were an assassin. So maybe it got the wheels turned. He's like, oh, I got to remember that one for my next John Wick. Bring her in. Well, hopefully, you know, you never know. I'm just going to keep working hard and yeah. see what I'm going to lead. So you you got the role on the new Bosch show, Legacy, but you had worked some with Bosch, right, for, for that show, like did some, um, some of the tactical weapons type of thing so for Bosch. Yeah, so that's so crazy. So when was it? I think it was spring or summer before the October, before I got an audition for the show. So it was like six months before that, Bosch Titus came out, trained for the show. And yeah. I was there helping Taryn. Taryn was training Titus and I was there helping. And, and then like six months after, I got an audition from my agent. And I just did like, and the, and the, and the audition was like, you know, partially, well, I don't know if I can disclose <laughs> that, but anyways, like Karen was helping <laughs> the audition. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how much I, I don't want to get in trouble. Anyways, right. Karen was helping me like shoot audition. And then I'm like texting Titus, like, oh my God, you won't believe it. I just submitted for your show. He was like, no way. Are you serious? Like for the assassin? Because obviously he knows what's happening in the episode. Like yeah, for yeah. the assassin part, I'm like that. Yes. And he's like, he told that that part was originally to be for a man. And then they changed it to female, which is so cool. I'm like, hey, I'm so it's happy. It's a good thing they did too, because you were perfect for it. Yeah. And it's just, it was weird. You know, I just trained him like six months after they got this audition out of blue. And I, when I got the audition, Bosch, I'm like, oh, I know Bosch. You know, I just... I just tra I just trained Titus for it. I love the show, so I did the audition and uh, casting immediately pinched me and like on hold for the role. So and when I got it, like I was so excited. Like I called Titus. He's like, "Yeah, I see. I told you." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You guys it. have a you get to have a little gun battle there at the end yeah. of the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was yeah. amazing. That's pretty, that's pretty great. And I told you what my favorite scene was. And I saw you posted it on your Instagram, you know, when yeah. you're in the bedroom and he kind of, yeah. he kind of walks in, you shoot under your arm, but it, it's yeah. so like, it was just like nothing. And, you know, <laughs> like I'd have been, if somebody had walked down, I'd been like, Oh, and then I have to react, but you just like, and stuff. And he has to dive out of the way. And you had that whole, uh, you know, that whole battle that was, just a, amazing to watch as, as like the best part of the show and it's a great show thank you and i just i just have to tell everybody because oh god the production of the bosch and the whole crew and and titus were just so open-minded and open-hearted and they give yeah. me so much freedom to like oh how would you do it you know for your character like if you were like how would you i'm like oh shit they give me actually freedom to <laughs> show what i can do and how would i do if yeah. I were, then Taryn was also giving advices and, you know, some kind of critical moments. How would it be in the real life? Because Bosch show, what people love about Bosch, and I know a lot of cops who are like just coming, you know, and, and actually professional people who actually are cops every day, they come into me yeah. like, we love the show because it's just realistic. It's not, right. it's, it has a cool Hollywood moments. Of course it does because it's movies. It yeah. makes it more fun to watch, you know but it's realistic and they were so open-minded and open-hearted to listen to everything like how would it be in real life and, yeah. and that scene on the bed when i'm sitting and you guys have to see it remember when i was just prepping i'm not mm -hmm. gonna say what happened because the audience have to watch but that's that right that's right watch. we don't want to spoil it <laughs> yeah but that was the moment when like Tar taryn's like hey by the way you have never been done in the movies before like how if you do this because if you were if you were that level of professional that's what you would do remember that when i was prepping and i had like yeah one extra and i was like oh shit you know like oh my god you're right and it's never been done before and they and they the production the writers and producers and everybody they were like oh cool that's a great idea let's do it so they were yeah. so like open-minded it was amazing yeah it's pretty titus, great did you know that titus wrote episode 10 
No, I had no, I didn't know that he wrote. Yes, it's his first debut. He's writing, he's writing amazing. Yeah, That's he did whole, uh, like, he did a great job. Me, me and him, it's his writing. I love it. Yeah, he's so talented. He is, and he's a very good person. Yeah, you can tell. You can yeah, tell he's, he's just good. a we've uh, we've been lucky enough. I've probably had I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight people um from Bosch have have come on the show and they all talk about just what a great person he is. And I got that's pretty great. Oh, really? You had that many people from a show? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. You're you're my third um from Bosch legacy, but then I had several that were on uh Bosch their show. So yeah. Yeah. That's I'm so a big cool. fan of Bosch. I now I didn't intentionally try to get everybody on the, on the, you know from from Bosch, but it just kind of worked out that way. So I, I haven't been unhappy with it because they they Bosch, one thing they get is really good actors. So I love yes. having them on the show because they're all good. Yes. And, and you're included in that. You were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You even got, you even had a scene where you're like in the, in your room, you know, like working out a little bit. You got a little workout montage in there. I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that was just like, fair of a moment, the writer like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to throw the scene right now here. So that was like an accident. It wasn't in the script originally. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did he know you could do that or did he have to ask you, hey, can you do the pull-ups and stuff? Um, no, he did ask me, like, can I do this, this, that? And so, like, I'm like, yes. And then we did more stuff, but it didn't, uh, it, it, it didn't, how to say it? It was cut out, but whatever. The show has to have some limit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. At some point, they'll probably put those back in. You'll get extra scenes or something somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. 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 It like yeah. the, the um, idea of uh, Terminator, Sarah, Sarah Connor. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh shit, let's do something similar." I'm like, "Oh hell yeah!" <laughs> yeah, you it. could definitely tell that there was, you know, some some thought to that because she was. That's like when you think of a female badass. That's it for me anyway. That's exactly who I think about. And do you know uh, the story that actually originally that character was supposed to be a man? You know that too? It no, I didn't to- know that. Yeah, it was supposed to be a man, and then the director he's like you know what i just want something different like yeah. like let's just like completely if they want a big man let's just have a tiny woman like yeah. just completely switched it to opposite and it was amazing big hit oh my gosh and she was so buff yeah for the role and yeah. now you know now it's not as big a deal you you've got you know more women coming in that have the muscles and and are kind of kind of badass that way but when she did it she was like the first that's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. awesome. It's like my dream too. Like whatever I'm landing next, I just want to be the first. Like the first female of doing something completely different. I think if anybody could do it, I think it's you. Because you, your skill level, you've got so many different skills. Thank you. You know, you're not just a, a not I shouldn't say just because acting is very difficult, but you don't just act. I mean, you can dance. You've got all this tactical training you know, you, you've got uh, Kung Fu, you've got all this stuff that you can bring to the table. They need, you need a starring role. We got to find you a starring vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> they were, they were like joking on the side of a Bosch. They're like, hmm, <laughs> maybe Tatiana kill, kills the lead actor and like take the show. <laughs> yeah, take it over. <laughs> what about, what if we, this will, your, your, your mom will be happy about this one. So you're you're a famous ballerina. Yes, that would be the yes. right. And then, but you get hurt. Yes. Like you have like a bad accident. Something bad happens. You get hurt. So you can't dance. You can't do you can't dance anymore. Yeah. And you get you like you get very depressed. You get down on your luck. Nothing's going your way. And somewhere in there, you accidentally start solving crime. And then that it sounds, goes in a whole different sounds, direction. Yeah, but that sounds like um, you've heard that they're going to do a spin off of John Wick Ballerina, right? No. Oh, no. No, yeah. no are they? 
See this, that's, that's, that's how good my mind is. It's just slow. I come up with these great ideas and then I find out, Oh yeah, somebody already had that idea. Yeah. But it's not like just happened overnight. They have been talking about the spinoff um, five years ago since uh, See, basic being honest, chances are the way my head works is I have heard that somewhere, but then a long period of time passed, and I'm like, I've got this great idea. I've just stolen somebody else's idea. No, no, I hear you. No, it's a, it, it was your idea because we were just talking about ballet and like I'm assassin on the mm. show, obviously. Well, so cool thing are you do. going? Are you going to try out for this? Yes, John Wick role. Any. Well, a female, the, the lead actors already, the lead role is already taken by Anna de Armas because she's a lister actor. And oh, yeah. She's, she's amazing, too. She's great. She's, she's, she's amazing. James Bond. I mean, obviously, I wish I, uh, my career kicked a little earlier. So I had like more. Yeah, um, yeah. But you, you know, well, I wish I was you, James Bond. You could still too. be an assassin in the movie. Maybe you could, yeah. you could battle her a little bit. Oh yeah, roll her a little bit, a jiu-jitsu rolls. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like I'm, I'm. That would be like a dream come true, honestly, and for my mom too. But yeah, let's yeah. see what roles are there and what they're doing. What it, What if, you know, in your rival assassin role, you're posing as a ballerina, so you get to dance a little bit. That would be my mom's dream come true. She oh, I know. I'm trying to take care of your mom. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Have you got to play an FBI agent yet? No, I want mm -hmm. to. I want to. I want to so much. Like yeah. my career just kicking in, basically right now, and I'm really excited to see what our next roles. That oh, it's coming. Know, but besides, even like playing FBI, I would love to be like part of Game of Thrones. They're coming back. Something like like that it will be amazing. You've got the right look for that show. You know, I'm big. Yeah. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. I, I started reading the books back in the 90s when they started oh, coming wow. out. Oh, wow. And, and then the show, you could tell it. You could also fit. I don't remember if we talked about this last time. You would make a, a good addition to the Wheel of Time that is on Amazon right now oh. which is you know it's a fantasy show i won't say it's similar to game of thrones but it's similar <laughs> in that it's a fantasy show that has a lot of women that kick ass on it you would totally fit for that okay that's good to know yeah you I'll need to check that one out because they've got they got women that are like magician you know they're spell casters you've got uh women that are good with oh there's a woman from the books that is badass with um, a bow. Oh, okay. Called Brigitte. She's like, she's got a bow. I bet you could learn that. Bow? No, I'm I'm good with bow. See, there you go. But there's women that, that are good with a staff. They got, they got everything in that, except, you know, they don't have the modern weapons, but the older weapons. I think you could do that. You need to check that out. You tell your people. I Mike said to check out Will of Time. I'm going to. I'm going yeah, to yeah. have I not watch the show, but I'm going to. It's yeah, an yeah. Amazon. It's an Amazon show, and you're already in with Amazon, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings is coming too. Oh, really? Amazon's yeah. doing that. Uh, Was it uh, Ring of Power? I think is the name of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, that yeah it's like a prequel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. I'm going to keep you busy. Thank you. <laughs> you be my manager. <laughs> one of the one of the reasons I wanted to have you on the show, because so, when I saw you on Bosch, you know, that's kind of that's kind of what I do. When I watch shows and I see somebody that I haven't I haven't seen before I, and I like them, I'm like, oh, we got to get them for the show before they get huge. We'll get you on the show because I'm like I just got this feeling that you're uh, you're going to be really big, but you're like you said you're just kind of getting into it right now. Thank you. Yeah. Well, so when you was, when you're huge, you have to you can't ignore me. Then you got to come back on. Uh, yeah, I just said that. Like you know, I'm not one of 
the starstruck whatever people who just get big and forget about everybody else. That's right. You can't do that. <laughs> no, can't do that. <laughs> Nobody likes that that type of person. You want the you want your stars to be kind of down to earth that remember where they came from. Well, that's why everybody loves Keanu. That's why everybody loves oh, yeah. Tara. That's why everybody loves um, who else? Like like people who are you know actors who just actually like Titus. Everybody loves yeah. Bill Morris and people like who just down to earth, no matter where they are, how big they are. Yeah. You know, Bill Morris has been on this show. Love Bill. No Morris. way. Yeah, yeah. No way. He was the best too because he was doing his. Uh, you know, he had that. Uh, uh, Jackie on Seinfeld, where he played the kind of over the top. He was doing, he was talking like that for half the interview. It was hilarious. We had the whole Bosch Day training on Saturday. We had Phil, we have Titus, we have Maddie. Did Maddie did your show too? No, no, I tried to get her, but she was just so busy. I'm, I'll, I'll reach back out and try to catch her. I'll, when, I'll, when, I'll connect with Maddie. I'll, I'll talk to her. When please here. do. I would so much I'm, appreciate because you know how it is sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it's their people that'll be like, she didn't have time for that. She didn't have yeah. <laughs> no, no. And sometimes it's just getting super busy too with, with oh, yeah. um, caring so much of a show on their shoulders, you know? Yeah. And she, but, she did, it was an amazing transformation from her yeah. role on Bosch. You know, yeah. she trained her ass off to get to the point where she could play the, you know, the rookie cop yes. on Bosch Legacy. Yeah, she was yeah. amazing. Taryn trained her too. She did amazing. It was like, she was like, she's so focused. She was like, I just want to do it right. I want to yeah. look legit green. Like I just, and she's so hardworking. Like she's just like focus. Yeah. Herself, how she can do better. And like, I did this when they let me do one more time. And she just wanted to be, and she's a great actress. And a great she really show. is. She's really good. She is. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's so great. Yeah. I'd appreciate that. So I wanted to ask you on a a, a little uh, a little bit of a, a downer note, but I wanted to ask you about the Ukraine. You're watching the stuff in in the news. Do you still have friends over there, family, anybody that you're keep or trying to keep in touch with? Yes, I do. I still have a lot of friends. Basically, everybody from my childhood. I have my my aunt, my uncle, my cousin. I have yeah. my sister's husband. I have his entire family there. I have my first dance teacher, my school, like my students, yeah. my students, like everybody's there. Only, only a few friends of mine moved here after I moved to LA. Yeah. And I helped a couple of my uh, friends and their families and their, their elders to get out from Ukraine after I get out my mom and dad and my sister. Um, but it's just horrible. Like the Sunday like you saw what happened in the news, right? Just a missile strike in Kiev in yeah. a shopping mall and a thousand of innocent people who are just shopping like we're there. It's, it's yeah. just insanity. It's insanity and it's just sickening and it's just not going to stop, unfortunately. I think it's going to go for years, in, in my opinion. I hope not. I hope not. But it does look like it's going to. That's that's what everybody was hoping. My mom and dad too. I'm so happy they, they listened to me and we get we did the whole extraction because they were like, oh, it's gonna end soon. It's gonna end soon. And now look what's happening. It's just not looking like it's gonna end soon. And I, I kind of lost. I don't even understand what's happening anymore. Everybody keeps paying for gas. Ruble is high. Dollar is going down. Like I am not understanding what's happening. Well, it's, it's it's so confusing and it's so distressing as an outsider watching it. I can't imagine coming from there and and knowing, you know, knowing all these scenes that we're seeing. You know those places. Yeah. You, know, you grew up there. I can't yeah. imagine how hard that has to be. It's hard. And, you know, home supposed to be a safe place to everybody. Yeah. Oh, a homeland supposed to be some somewhere you come back and you feel relaxed and home. Yeah. And unfortunately, we all Ukrainians lost that. So home is like not safe at all. So like what my, my sister going, is going through, it's hard because she had her university, she had her job, she had her husband, her family there, and now she's without anything. She's just, she just now she's in the position where I was 
four years ago coming to this country and not having anything or anybody. It's just like you're yeah. you're in another country and you lost and you don't understand what's happening and all of your friends are dying and life life doesn't make any sense anymore. So it's just it's crazy. It's just yeah. crazy to think that in twenty twenty second twenty first century it can happen just like that. And it can go for years. For no reason. There's for no, no reason, reason for it. No. And 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 then what's struggling? Okay, we're talking about the corruption, right? Okay, we're talking about like politics, corruption, all that. That's fine. I mean, it's been like that in every country for right. all years, right? So what does it has to do with innocent people? That's right. But just Nothing. for innocent people who are actually broke, like a lot of people that the economy in Ukraine is not that great. A lot of people just all they had, like my parents, all they had their entire life is their apartment. That's all. They didn't have a car. They didn't have like a fancy wow. house. It's just an apartment and I was gone. So a lot of people like that, like my grandmother and um, grandfather, my grandmother has a, had, had a cancer and all she had was her village house that we grow up yeah. in the little village and now it's gone. And she had a cancer and she died because there was no like there's no help and how many people right now dying just think about how many people are going to die right now from who has diabetes who has cancers and because there is no hope and there's no hospitals and nothing's working it's just it's sickening yeah (laughs) yeah i'm so sorry that uh that you're going through that and and i am happy that you were able to get your uh your parents your sister out that's that's good news at least those two months when we were like, I was trying to extract them, I will never forget. It was the most. Uh, how could know. you do anything else? I mean, how could you concentrate on anything else when you're so worried about just trying to get them out of there? I well, the reality is I didn't. Whatever audition came in, came in. I just did whatever, and I th- that was the time when actually Bosch starting. Like you know, everybody was talking about yeah. Bosch and all this stuff I wasn't even doing anything about it I didn't I couldn't like all all it was is talk to my mom to my dad and my sister 24 yeah. for seven and going I was really heartbroken when I found out my grandmother died because I thought they're they're extracting with my grandmother and then my parents decided not to tell me to not break my heart but right. then when I find out that was that was hard and it was it, I couldn't do anything it was it was hard time it was the worst I think the helplessness would be the hardest part because you want to yeah. you want to just run over there you know fly over there and do something but you can't I, I did I almost did I flew to Poland and I was about to go to Ukraine but then I got stopped by my friends and Tara yeah. never there because First of all, you know, it's a war and, you know, all the skills that I have, it's amazing, but we got to be realistic. It's a war. It's, it's, right. we're talking now about bombing. <laughs> it's not That's just right. shooting like bombs. You can't like fight against the bombs. You, no, never know you can't fight against that modern warfare. You can't, you can't, it doesn't matter how well trained you are. You can't fight against that. No, no, no. And then, and then also like, they convinced me to do i i've done a lot of things from here than than yeah. doing anything there you know but i was about to go and just kind of get my sister out out of there because she didn't want to leave she just want to stay and fight and it's, there's no way i'm gonna let my sister stay, stay no. there with the amount of rape and what they're doing there it's just it's right. it, no you have to get her out is she older or younger than you she's younger yeah yeah i got that feeling you had that big sister energy kind of going on <laughs> yeah you got to take care of your family i totally uh, get this I, i'm so happy that they're they're out but i just i can't imagine how hard that is you know at some point do you have plans to go back at some point it's so funny i had plans to go back on my birthday which was 8th of march march this year i w- yeah. i was about to go back home and you know I booked my first show and celebrated with my family and hugged everybody and go to my teachers, to my mentors and everybody, you know, my friends, I left back home and it was crashed. But now, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I yeah. just don't 
this war is going to happen anytime soon, so I'm not making any plans. It looks like it's not going to. So yeah, it, just, it does. It and does. plus, like, when it's going to end, I don't think it's going to be a safe place to go to for a while. It's going to take a while, uh, and it'll take a while to, to rebuild. And I'm sure it will be rebuilt, and, and it'll eventually be a great place to go to again, but it's going to take a while. Yeah, but I do want to go back. That's for sure. Yeah. It just there's some kind of magic of going back to where you were born and to yeah. reconnect with that energy. You know, where are you from? So, so I'm in West Virginia, and I'm from West Virginia. So I was I was raised here, been been here uh, my whole life. Now I've traveled a little bit, um, <laughs> but this this is home. And I just I, I try to put myself in that situation. You know, what would I do if everything that you knew was attacked and and a lot of the stuff destroyed um, especially if i was in a different country mm-hmm. i just i can't imagine I, there's no way to put yourself into those shoes it's just it's impossible to to imagine if you're not going through it mm-hmm. yeah i i hope that one day you're able to go back i hope one day you're able to go back and maybe do a, do a movie or a TV show there that everything has settled down to the point that you can actually go over there and, and, and be creative and do something that's more joyful. Well, I, I also want to go back. Like I was really inspired. Like Angelina Jolie was there. She was helping people. And yes. I, I hope I'll get to the point in my career when I'll have more ability to, to help the kids and everybody who's struggling and friends you know, to kind of book a couple of more big projects and then you, you're able to go back home and actually bring something valuable, a value to help people. That's yeah, kind of, I have no no doubt that you will do that. As driven as you are, I have no doubt that that you'll be able to uh, to do that. Okay, so that's enough of uh, the sad stuff because that one, we're not going to fix that one today, but I wanted no. to let you know that, that uh, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers obviously are, are you. with you and the Ukrainian people. This has just been awful. I like you said, I it's hard to wrap your head around this happening today. Right now. Yeah, this yeah. is something you would expect to happen a hundred years ago. Yeah. 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 Terrible. I agree. Yeah, terrible. So Tetiana, before we uh before we wrap up, you know, is there anything that you're working on? that you're able to talk about or that we can kind of keep an eye out for? Well, keep an eye for Day Shift movie that is coming out. My, uh, I've, I've done that movie too. And it's yeah. out in, and it was Jimmy Fox and it was Snoop Dogg and directed Ooh. by incredible J. Perry. It's J.J. Perry first movie. And he's incredibly talented guy. Like I know, I hope, I hope hopefully you guys know who he is. Oh he yeah, was second unit director and like doing all the crazy stunts, choreo and directing for his entire life. Fast and Furious franchise, uh, John Wick and stuff. But now he got a chance to direct his first movie. Yeah, that's amazing. And the trailer is amazing. It's gonna look. I I saw the movie obviously already. <laughs> Can't yeah. even talk about it yet, but because it's so confidential. But you guys keep an eye, and it's 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 gonna be like it's something, like something like remember back in the day when John Wick came out, there was something new and like oh shit, it never been done before. <laughs> that, that's what's gonna be day. Really? Shows. Oh, that's exciting. What can you can you talk about your role in it? What what kind of character do you play? I didn't, it was, it was mostly acting slash stunt. So it's okay. not like a role, like a character, like in Bosch, but yeah, you're still yeah. going to be there. Um, um, well, with, with that, with that movie, it's again, I don't know how much I can, I can talk about it. I was supposed to have a character, but then, you know, it's something. Oh, I know how that works. Something's, something's cut out of the movie, but it got shift and changed. So at the end of the day, you guys are still gonna see me in the movie. It's gonna be awesome, and you know who knows? Maybe in the part two, they're gonna be more of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. That's really exciting. So, so I know that as soon as you're able to start putting stuff out there on there, you will. So, where can we find you on social media? Uh, at uh, Tetiana Gaidar. It's my first name and last name. Yeah. But my mom, my my mom. My mom wanted me to be different. So instead of Tatiana, she spelled my name T E. It's Tatiana. 
And she's just like, it's a different. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. See, your mom, she knew you were going to be a star. She was already preparing for it. So yes. she, she knew. Yeah, and she's still up until these days, no matter, because, because you know what, the other thing that people don't realize, they just, you know, see my story and they think it's just happened like this. No, it's not. It's, it took <laughs> me here and it's it's hard and sometimes you just want to give up and sometimes you cry hard and my mom my mom always was there for me like anytime i cry her tell like crazy stories that happens here in hollywood she was like oh my god i don't know how you deal with this but <laughs> gonna quit she's like tatiana i don't understand where, where are all the producers and directors looking at you're so talented just just because it's why they're not like putting you as a lead in the, in the movie like what's happening <laughs> my mom your mom funny. and i agree <laughs> yeah my mom would love you <laughs> <laughs> we we agree what about what about how about this what if we if we reboot x-files but we do it as a spoof right uh -huh. so then so then you can play the uh uh you, the very serious partner and uh -huh. i'll be the goofball <laughs> that keeps Let's getting in trouble so you have to keep you have to keep like you know saving me because Let's i'm constantly it. getting in trouble i'm I'm the bumbler <laughs> let's do it <laughs> let's do it <laughs> we'd probably be okay if if i could you know i could get keep getting in trouble but i don't have a ton of speaking lines that would probably be a smart move <laughs> And now it's like you. How That's right. supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a short-lived show. They'd be like, she was pretty great, but I don't know about this guy. What about this guy? I don't know that our show would make it. We we'd have to, we'd have to maybe they could they could pattern it after me, but they'd have to get a better actor to play me. <laughs> 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 well, Tatiana, thank you so so much for hanging in there with me. We finally got through it. Yes. We've been we we tried we we couldn't do it. We really tried, and then we it took us a couple of weeks to get back together. But we did it. We got through it. We did it. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on one second. I'm so happy that we were able to uh, to get that interview done. I was really upset. We had a really uh, good start to the interview last time, and, and we just ran into a ton of technical issues. And it was, uh, uh, I was like, well, that interview's gone. Uh, but Tatiana was, has been terrific. We've been in touch and been talking off and on for a couple of weeks till our schedule's lined up. We got her back on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think she's got just a really interesting story. Do yourself a favor. And look her up um, on Instagram, especially. Um, she puts up some amazing videos. She's a badass. And, and you'll see that if you go and, uh, and check out her Instagram. Instagram, Really, really good. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in again this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, we're really trying to bring you more and more quality um, guests and we're up to, um, let's see, we're getting ready to post episode 414 tonight, which is pretty amazing. And then tomorrow will be uh, 415. I, I just, I can't believe we're up to that many people. And it's it's an amazing guest list. I hope, I hope you guys will check that out and help us out. You can go and find all the videos on our YouTube channel, MeisterCon Pod. We'd really appreciate if you would subscribe. If you're more into the audio, you can go to our website, MeisterCon.com. It also has links to get you to our YouTube page so you can see the audio. But all 415 episodes will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. So please check us out uh, there as well. And I want to bring up, you know, we for two years have been working on the side uh, on a project called The Last Saturday Night. It's an audio drama, original scripted drama um, dealing, you know, it's like positive stories about the pandemic. It's 
well written. They're they're very uh, funny, good. Uh, uh, I, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy. It. I, I I'm doing a terrible job explaining it, but it's the best. It's called The Last Saturday Night. If you go to our website. Or if you find us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, we're promoting it on there. It's written by our good friend, Jennifer Nash. It stars Sherilyn Finn from Twin Peaks. Uh, It's the last acting role for Ed Asner. It's got Eric Roberts, uh, Allison Dunbar, Tim Tim Russ, uh, and just a ton of amazing actors. I could just keep going because there's a ton of uh, uh, Charlene Tilton that played Lucy on Dallas. It's it's just loaded. I'm so proud of it. It's called The Last Saturday Night. It's even got uh, uh, me, um, Brett, Emily. We've all got roles in it. We got to uh, to executive produce and and we're, uh, we're just so, so proud of it. So please check that out. The Last Saturday Night. As of this taping, There's three of the 10 episodes are already out. By the time you hear this taping, it'll probably be six that that are out. So definitely check that out. Until next time, thank you guys so, so much. Bye, everybody.